Research assignments often strike fear into the hearts of college students. A lot of the fear around research comes from not understanding how to do research well. No one is born being good at this stuff. You learn over time how to approach a research assignment so it doesn't end up being a painful experience or lead to a bad grade. This video is designed to help you better understand what research is and isn't, and what the research process usually looks like. We all wrote reports in high school where we summarized the things we read on a certain topic. That's not research. Research is not gathering a bunch of stuff and reporting on what you found. It's not a book report. You use the information you found, but as evidence to support your thesis. There needs to be a balance between your own thinking and what you discovered. Research is about answering questions. It's about trying to discover the truth. But research is also about not reinventing the wheel. It's about building on work that has already been done and furthering it with your own knowledge. As Isaac Newton said, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Even Newton went back and explored what came before him before he did his own research. Starting from scratch would be a huge waste of time when there's a lot you can learn from the research people did before you. Your role in research is to answer the question you choose with the evidence you find as well as your own conclusions based on that evidence. You don't just choose things that support one side of the argument. You look for sources that answer your question, whether or not they agree with each other. You do research every day, without even thinking of it as research. When you're sick and look up your symptoms online, you're doing research. When you decide on a new car or cell phone, you're doing research. When you choose a hotel for a vacation, you're doing research. In each one of these cases, you're gathering information, choosing which information to trust, and then are using that information to make a decision. A research assignment is essentially the same thing and will help you develop skills to make you better at finding, evaluating, and using information in your daily life. The research process can be roughly broken down into the following steps. Step 1. Choose a topic. Look over your assignment and select a topic that fits the assignment and also captures your interest. Step 2. Find basic information about your topic. Get background information on your topic and develop a list of questions related to your topic. Step 3. Choose a research question. Select a question with a focus that isn't too broad or narrow for the scope of your assignment. Step 4. Develop a tentative thesis or argument. You'll note that I say tentative here because the evidence might end up pulling you in a totally different direction. Step 5. Figure out what sorts of evidence you will need to best answer your question. You might use books, articles, data, interviews, or much more. You'll find that having a variety of types of evidence will strengthen your argument. Step 6. Find evidence related to your question. This is the searching part. You'll probably find yourself refining your focus even more as you see what evidence is or isn't out there. Step 7. Evaluate the sources you found and determine which ones you can trust. You don't believe everything you read, do you? Step 8. Refine or change your thesis based on the evidence you've found. This may or not may not be necessary, but being prepared to make a change is a good thing. Step 9. Read and analyze the evidence based on your thesis. Step 10. Create your product, whether that's a presentation, a paper, a video, or something else. In that product, you'll integrate the evidence as well as your own point of view. Again, it's all about a balance between the two. While this looks like a neat little circle, the research process rarely happens in a perfect circle, and you may do things in a totally different order and still come out with a great research product. There's usually a lot of trial and error, roads you'll go down that won't work out, going back to earlier steps, and even starting from scratch. This is completely normal and even happens to expert researchers. Research can sometimes be easy and can sometimes be a time-consuming and painful process. Your best strategy is to start the process as early as possible in case it doesn't end up being a piece of cake. The nice thing is that research gets easier the more you do it. You'll learn new tricks and strategies each time you have a research assignment, and you'll also get better at avoiding getting stuck in the first place. Remember, your instructor and the reference librarians are here to help you. They've been doing research a lot longer than you and have probably experienced getting stuck in the same way you might be right now. Asking for help will often save you a lot of time and frustration, so don't hesitate to do it.